Did you know that Goodman Games has made over 100 adventures? And today we're going to go over the DCC Adventure 100. The music of the spheres is chaos. Hi everyone, Jordan here at The Page is Silent. This is not sponsored and I actually bought this with my own money. I did the Kickstarter and we're gonna talk a little bit about this. Now, with this Kickstarter, I also got this really big poster that shows all of the adventures from um, Goodman Games Adventure 1 all the way up to this one, which is Adventure 100. Uh, they're not all Dungeon Crawl Classics adventures because Goodman Games started publishing stuff for, I think, 3rd edition and 4th edition. And then um, in between 4th and 5th edition, that's when they came out with Dungeon Crawl Classics. So it's about Adventure 66. Could be wrong. I'll flash on the bottom of the screen if I'm wrong. But that was the start of the Adventures for Dungeon Crawl Classics. And this really cool book, uh, or this module, I should say, is um, like a really fun culmination in all of that. So it has a lot of interesting little tidbits to it, a lot of mechanics. It's kind of a collector thing, but I think you would also really enjoy running this adventure, especially if you like Dungeon Crawl Classics. So let's take a look. Now, I've got my camera up above and I got my camera in front of me, so hopefully we'll be able to see everything. Um, here is the actual module, which um, I have a PDF of it as well. So we'll probably get into the PDF to kind of look at the nitty gritty of it. Yeah, but in, in short, there's this temple that you have to explore and there are a, an area for each of the elements. So we have fire, water, earth, and air. And I believe air is not non-existent because air is kind of the breath of life and kind of divine. And this is the people that were practicing dark arts in this area. So that's kind of what this is. But we have this really cool map and that is kind of the highlight of this adventure is that you have this fun spinning map. So putting this aside, um, I've already opened this a little bit so we kind of have some stuff, but let's put this together and we'll see how everything twists and turns. There we have it. Now, in this adventure, you are coming in from um, a tavern. You find, a th you know, usually cults doing bad, evil stuff. And um, you come into this thing, this, uh, this maze, this dungeon. And based on your actions, uh, the entire thing will rotate in a particular direction. And I'm trying to remember the exact, I think, I think we just have to have this like up here like that. I'm going to tighten that down a little bit. There we go. And so as your players explore, things will happen such as the entire room will rotate and then these will also rotate. Which uh, then if your players go down here, they can explore this. Um, and then as they're in certain areas, it will rotate again and they'll get trapped in here. Now, every time they're, which way did I, I think you rotate clockwise every single time. And so even these um, items get rotated just a half way, but you can kind of line up stuff. Like if you're in A4 and the whole thing rotated, now I can access this area over here. And if we rotate again and these rotate, and these rotate, and this rotates. Yeah, so now everything's upside down. Now this is linked up here. This one is not linked, this one is not linked, and this is you know sudden death over here. So your players are encouraged to see the board. I don't think you're supposed to hide it from them, which is kind of what I would think. But as you're messing around with this, you can definitely, um, they can figure out the pattern and try to get to the places that they wanna go. And I really like that. I think this is a, a pretty fun, ingenious, not ingenious, but like it's a fun way to celebrate DCC 100 with this adventure. 
This is a fifth level adventure for DCC. Um, the highest I think I've ever seen is six. I don't think I've ever seen anything higher than six. And you only can go to level 10 in Dungeon Crawl Classics. But I really, really want to run this. And then again, we go back to the start. And like this. I don't know if there's a way for them to rotate a particular room. But yeah, but if we have fire, earth, and water, and then this is air, which is not allowed because of the, the general... This, because of the story and the divine magic of air and the breath of God and things like that. And every area that you're in, which we have the, the wolf, the goat, the lion, and the worm, when you're in a particular area, the monsters and certain uh, warriors and stuff will have... Characters and monsters will have different stats. So it says here over in the goat area, monsters have plus one die to attacks. So they'll their damage or their attacks will go up and their damage and their saving throws. Warriors and dwarves have no change. Traps are plus one damage or plus one D up on thieves attempts to find them. And clerics have plus two D to spell checks with no disfavor in this area. So as your players kind of play through around, they're going to definitely favor a fun area rather than another one and things like that. And then we also came with this diagram, which I think this is a way for, this is the tool that the players use to kind of turn the dials, which then affects the giant rotating area here to line up various stuff. So I'm trying to think, can we get, yeah, if we A could get right here like that. Oh, that's not a wall. That's not a path, though. Oh, yeah, it is. Sure. But I think A can line up here. Um, C is kind of isolated. But is there water? Here's a list of all the Kickstarter backers. And if you look right here, there's a nice Jordan right there because I backed it. So I did back this with my own money. The cool thing about all of this, though, is Mr. Goodman Games uh, sent me a copy for free. So I got a secondary copy here. This is unopened. It's still in its shrink wrap. And if you've tuned into the video this long, I am going to give this away. All you have to do is there will be a Google form link down below to put in your email address. I would encourage you to sign up for my Substack uh, so I can get on mailing lists and things like that. But if you don't want to, that's fine, whatever. And then uh, in 10 days after this video goes up, I will pick a winner and I will email the winner. So no, no telegram, no social media things. I will email you. <laughs> and tell you that you won and get your address and mail this out. Uh, normally I try to keep these things to just the United States, but I don't care. Like I don't, I haven't done a giveaway in a long time. So let's just open this up to the world. So I will eat the cost and mail this out to you wherever you live. Let me know. And if you want to win this, uh, yeah. And you know, leave, leave a comment below, share this video with your friend. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Long live Dodger Call Classics for many, many more adventures. In fact, I think uh, Adventure 105 just came in the mail. I'm going to have to read that one pretty soon, too. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the next video.